Hey guys, I'm standing here on the summit of one of my absolute favorite mountains, the Niersen in the Berner Oberland near Thun. If you want to know everything about the beautiful but also very exhausting hike up to this place, then just go on watch this video. My name is Sandro, I live here in beautiful Switzerland and on my channel you can find adventure inspiration for your next trip to Switzerland. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. So I would say, let's get it started. Here we go. I am very excited about tomorrow because I will be making a video about one of my favorite hikes all the way up to Deniesen, which is a landmark if you live here in Thun. You can see it from almost everywhere. Like if I look out of my bedroom window, here it is, this little guy. So it's the evening before the hike and the weather looks pretty good. So I hope it stays the same. Deniesen, I am coming for you. Are you ready to roll? No, my shoes aren't tight yet. Ah. So it is Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day in September, <coughs> end of September. And we want to go to the train and we're actually running late again. I don't know how that always happens. I do. Why? I like to sleep. <laughs> yes, me too. But then we get up and it looks good. We eat breakfast and then we're running late. Okay guys, today's hike will be one of the most spectacular runs that we can do here around Thun and Interlaken. We will start in Frutigen and then hike up to the Niesen. It should be approximately 12 kilometers, but like a really, really steep uphill. I think something, let me check, 1,720 meters up and it should take us approximately five and a half hours. We took the train from Thun. There are direct trains that go to Frutigen every hour and in between those ones there is one where you have to change in Spiel, what we will do. Another cool thing about the Niesen is that there is also a funicular that goes up and down. So if you only want to enjoy the views without the exhausting part, then you can come here to Müllenen, where we stop right now, and take the funicular, which brings you right up. We are arriving at Frutigen, terminus station. All right, this is the train station, or behind me is the train station in Frutigen. And just when you get out of the station, you have the sign with all the hiking paths and then you basically just follow the sign that points towards Niesen. So far you have seen all those signs so it's really hard to get lost even if you don't have a map. You just get out of the train station and then there are those yellow orangey signs and they just show you all the hiking paths and if there is nothing written on it then it just means that you are on the main hiking path and you might have seen the signs that point towards Niesen have this white and red colors on it that means that it's a mountain hiking path which means that you really have to wear good shoes that you have to know what you're doing and that it can get dangerous if you just think you can run up there so um, yeah take care in general if you hike in Switzerland Red and white color means mountain hiking way. Be prepared. But we are prepared. Are you prepared? I'm so prepared. We're so prepared. We enter now a little forest and it starts to get a bit more tricky because there's no nice path anymore. Got a little bit more rocky.
We just saw a cow parade. Wow. I liked their flower hats though. I just heard the bells like uh, from far away and I was like, wait a second. I think we should leave the, the trail. And that was a good decision. We just <laughs> jumped behind those fences. And then like two minutes later, like I don't know how many cows, but probably like 20 or 30 like huge cows with like their flower hats. They just came down the road. But you like the decorations, huh? Yes, I'm glad I was not in the action. Though. So it's a tradition, like in the winter, the cows stay in the villages, so they stay in their farms. And then during summer, all the farmers bring their cows up on like the mountains where they can be like on the free range. Can I say that? Yeah. And that's a party. Uh, and then in fall, when they go back to their winter farm, it's also a party. So the hike just got a little better. Because there, Do you think there's more along the way? Like, does everyone bring their cows down on the same day or is it... No, I don't, I, I don't know. I hope not. But I think that's the good thing about the cowbells because you can yeah. hear them. <laughs> The sign says three hours from here after one hour and 40 minutes of walking. And over there is our destination. I think I can see the top of the Niersen in the back. Look at this guy. It's so far away, <laughs> but also so close. Hours. Two hours left. 1580 meters unter Niesen, under Niesen. We're down Niesen, downtown. <coughs> Two hours, we got this. Still going strong. That's where we go. Okay, show off. When he, when he come from down there, the peak seems to be so close, he can almost touch it. And you take a nice detour all the way through those hills. You can't even see the peak anymore. Uh, and he goes up. But that's good. That's what we wanted. That's why, that's why we came here. That's what we came for. And for sure, the Alps back there. Beautiful. Over there there this little thing here this is where we started and then we made the way all like over this bump here over this bump here and up 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 so this here is the most glorious moment of the whole hike because behind me it's the summit of the Niersen and the restaurant and we're now here on a little peak just right behind the Niersen and we can just walk along this ridge towards our goal, towards the summit. So uh, I'm pretty tired now. I would say let's take those last few steps and then let's check out the view from up there. Let's go.
we're now on the top platform and I love this view because you can see Thun and you see all the way to Interlaken and the Lake of Brient and here you see the Swiss Alps it's basically everything you are looking for if you come to Switzerland so even if you don't want to hike up it is definitely worth to take the funicular and enjoy this view So we had six hours with all the picture breaks and everything and now we're sitting here at the restaurant having a little coffee. It was six hours of walk and I think, what did you say, thousand something? 466? 1,466 meters of elevation, which is a lot, you can feel it. So what I was about to say, those 1,400 meters, you can really feel them and also the air gets a bit thin up here but the good thing is that we're about to take the funicular to go back down which is very relaxing kudos kudos <laughs> Here we are now back at the train station in Mullenen, waiting for our connection to Thun. And I have to say that's also a really great thing about a trip to Deniersen, because either if you want to hike from Frutigen or if you want to take a funicular or also hike from Mullenen, you are just right at the train stations. So if you don't have a car, it's no problem. You just take the train from Bern or from Thun and then you end up right at the station. In conclusion, I can recommend this hike to anyone who's looking for a challenge because it is hard but it is also very rewarding and it is comfortable because you have the restaurant on top and you can take the funicular down. So I think that's everything I got to say about the Swiss Pyramid. I really hope you enjoyed that video. So if you like me and my work and if you would like to support my channel, then make sure you hit that thumbs up and I'm also very happy about every new subscriber. So before you leave, make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now and then I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much and goodbye. Bye.